Well, guys, I apologize <clears throat> that you didn't get to see the beginning of this, but our power was off. I had no lighting. The lighting is still not great, but I'm going to do this anyway. Let me mark the center of this, the center of the frame there, so I can try to keep everything that I'm doing on top of that so you guys can see what I'm doing. Now, as a lot of you probably know, Double Boost and his friend Bob have been running a series on how to repair and clean your DTIs. Now, I was taking still photographs while I was working on this. So I will post those and do a voiceover to let you guys know what I was doing. My cleaning rag is I have put on a pair of my old cotton shorts and I'm wiping these things off on those. That is clean that up pretty nice. Let me get a microfiber rag over here. I bought some at Harbor Freight and then I bought some at Walmart. And since I'm from the great state of Tennessee, of course I bought the orange ones. Hope you can see that even after wiping it on my shorts I'm getting a little more off of it with this microfiber rag. That looks pretty clean on the inside now. Let's see how we can clean we can get it on the outside. I hope you guys are, I'm trying to stay where you guys are in frame, but I've got it zoomed in so you can see better. Oh yeah. Now the manufacturer on this is TechLock. Let me turn this around, make sure you guys are getting this. I have never heard of TechLock before, but I bought, well I'm all over the place trying to get this up is down and back is right and get this in the right place and I've got the wrong glasses on, I've got my bifocals on I can't see the lens with either one of them in that position. Now this has been a very good series that Bob has put on for Double Boost. On how to clean and maintain your dial indicators. Now I've already took a, uh, like I say, I'm sorry this is so dark, but how's that for dirt inside the casing? of the indicator. Now the reason I think this thing is so dirty inside is there was no screw in that. Back to it here. That's the second time around. Let me get that where it's focusing. I gotta get some computer glasses. They would work better than these bifocals. Go around that again. Would like to have some alcohol to clean this with, but I don't want to get it on this side of the dial. Oh, there we go. That pushed out. Good deal. I'd still like to have some alcohol, but 
unfortunately, I don't have any in the house right now. And to go buy some, well, I could go down the road and buy some. It'll cost me three times what it would cost me to go to town, but when town is a 30-minute round trip, three times the price for a bottle of alcohol isn't bad, I guess. And no, I don't drink, so I, I don't have any Bacardi's 151 or anything like that in the house that I could use. Or some PGA would, would work. The thing about PGA over isopropyl is that the isopropyl You can't drink it in an emergency if, for some reason, you needed to drink some alcohol. And there are times when a stiff drink of alcohol is an appropriate medicinal thing to do. I'll take this flat tip screwdriver, go right around this ring here. I'd already gone around that ring twice, cleaning that out. Let me get a smaller one. Maybe I can get in there a little better. My hands are a little unsteady today. Like I've told y'all before, I've been and experiencing some medical problems. I'm going to have to go take my blood sugar here in a minute and see if my blood sugar is down, causing me to have a sinking spell, as my brother called him when he got weak. may do is go over to the sink and use a little hot soapy water and some toothbrushes I got for cleaning my fingernails and scrub this thing down with that. That'd probably help set that aside for right now. Now Bob recommended using nothing but your own spit to clean the test gauge dials because anything else, any kind of solvent will take the writing off these things, take the numbers off. Let's see if I can generate some spit. Oh yeah. Now, see if I can get this centered in this frame. Left is right, right is left, but up and down are the same, so. And I hope that's centered and that you can tell the difference in the side I cleaned and the side I didn't. Now, Bob takes these things down so far that he takes the needles off of them and everything else and this one has got a little hiccup at one inch 650 thousandths there's a burr on the stem that I have hit 
hit with my precision stones that I got from Steve up at Shark River Machine. So, oh, it reminds me, I got to go to the post office. I got two more sets of stones to send him. I told him I, I've got them and uh, I was going to buy a surface grinder myself but if you follow my channel you saw where I got up that morning to go get that thing and I, w I had prayed the night before asking God for direction and the next morning I was actually in the shower when it came to me that I shouldn't buy a surface grinder because I wouldn't get that much use out of one. So, I hear my wife coming in. I'll get back to this in a little bit. I'm back. Uh, like I told you, my wife came in. We ate supper and and uh, watched some news. Although I tried my best all day not to watch any news. But this thing had a glitch in it about the being at the 550 thousandths, not the one inch, but the no. It was farther up than that. Anyway, I can't remember now. But it had a glitch in it. You get up so far and then there was a, a snag. Well, after I got this off, it wasn't in this. But while we were off, I took it to the sink, made me up a pot of warm water as hot as it comes out of the tap used a toothbrush and and uh, warm soapy water to scrub this thing internally and externally and this slides like silk now so that's clean did the same thing with this I took it over and cleaned it the uh, got the back on it a little cleaner got all the grease from around the, the stud like I said before the machining on this was kind of poor I, I wouldn't have let anything out of my shop like that to be sold to the public just saying. Clean this up. You'll notice it looks a lot better. Got a little more I'm going to try to get out of there. But it is much, much cleaner than it was. Clean this dial with the spit and the cotton swab. So it looks a lot better. There's some staining on it right here. Don't know what it is, but it will come off and I won't come off and I didn't want to try anything else or rub it any harder because I was afraid I'd take the uh, delineations off of it. The lens I'm gonna have I cleaned it good with soapy water got the crud off of it but I don't know if y'all can see the scratches on that surface or not but like Bob did I've got some uh, 500 uh, wet and dry out in the, the uh, shop 
I'll bring a piece of that back in later off camera and go over this and then polish it out and see if that gets rid of all the surface scratches. But the, the crud itself is gone off that thing. There's one slight crack in it, but as long as I don't crack it any farther, it shouldn't harm anything. Now that brings us down to this. <clears throat> 